everybody. Hi, it's Becky from Power Tools with Thread. I am in the process of packing up my Yazzie bag to get ready to go to the coast. We're going to be gone for the long 4th of July weekend. If any of you make any orders on our store site, please be patient. We will get them out in the mail as soon as we return. I was wanting to take a project down there with me because I like to take something to work on while we're down there. And my husband's oldest daughter is bringing his granddaughter and a little friend, and they are both 13. And so I was trying to think of what to make, and then I remembered I had a UFO from years ago, and it was a pattern that I had asked the ladies in my DAR, Daughters of the American Revolution, I'd ask them if they wanted to help me make this quilt and we would do a donation for it. It is the American Dream Pattern by Angela Pingle. I absolutely love this pattern. And I think it's the perfect project to do for this weekend to celebrate our country's 245th birthday. It's pretty simple because the blocks are already made. The ladies had each made up a portion of the quilt so that our chapter could have done it together. I took a page out of the pattern and kind of wrote up some instructions so they could each make six blocks and I gave them the fabric and cut it and everything to make sure the cutting was right and all they had to do was put it together. But what I got back from them was a whole conglomeration of a bunch of blocks that are here and I've got scraps and I have blocks in bags and I've just got this big kind of a mess. So I wanted to be able to go through it and sort it all out. And I think that sewing these blocks together is going to be a perfect experience and a lot of fun for these girls. So I'm going to take along my Fonts and Porter design wall that we're going to hang in the hallway down there. It's the only big wall I've got. And then we're going to put the blocks out according to the pattern. They kind of go all different directions to get a nice pretty picnic quilt that's the size this is going to be is like a picnic quilt and we're going to um, put them together and I'll let the girls do the sewing so won't that be fun so anyway I wanted to put together my Yazzie bag this is the quilters project bag and I think this one is perfect because it is so deep look how deep that is and I've got to carry I'm going to carry my design wall in here, and this thing, huge, I've got my thread, and I love this one. Let me, let me get this stuff out of the way and show you in this other camera. So this bag has all of these pockets and dividers in it, and I need to put my thread in here. I'll put this in this one. And... I've got a little pair of scissors, some tweezers, and some needles in here, but I really don't need to pack a lot of notions because most of what I need is already at the coast. I've got some cozies in here that were made for me by a viewer for my rotary cutter, and I'll go ahead. I have one down there, but the girls might need an extra one to work with, and I've got a little pair of scissors. I should put them in the cozy, right, so they don't poke through the plastic. Very handy, love this. And I have a magnetic pin dish in here and this zipper pocket works perfect for that because the pins want to stick there anyway and then I can travel and they don't go anywhere. It's wonderful to have that. And I've got a couple other zipper pockets here that I don't need to do anything with. I wanted to put the pattern in one of these large pockets right here so that we've got it that little paper just in case I need something out of it. Okay, so I, this is a nice big pocket to put the pattern in right there. And then back here, I've got a pretty deep pocket. I got stuff all over in here, don't I? Again, more scissors. There's my seam ripper, a friction marker, and a zip tie. You never know when you're gonna need a zip tie, right? It has some little loop pockets right here that you can put knitting needles in or crochet needles or whatever or seam rippers whatever you wanted and these are on top of another zipper pocket this thing has more pockets than you can just imagine but it, I like that it's nice and deep so I'm actually going to pack my design wall in here 
So that'll fit right in there. And then I have enough room in between these two to put all of my squares. Would you look at this? Look how much I can pack in here. That's crazy. I don't think I need this hanger. That's going to take up some space. And I've got more blocks here. But this is going to work just perfect to put all of this together. Look at that. Unbelievable. Design wall and all my blocks. Right in here. It's perfect. All in one case. There's my UFO. That's not going to be a UFO anymore after this weekend. Now, I want to do a giveaway. I want to thank Yasmita. She is the owner of Yazzie Bags. She started in the airline industry and realized what a value these bags could be to people who are quilters as well. And she has been so generous. So I want to show you and give this away. This is called the Maxi Yazzie. This thing is incredible. I think that Anna did a review of this on her channel, Quilt Roadies, and I'll link to that video below if you want to watch it. It has 11 gusseted zipper pockets that accommodate threads, notions, scissors, needles, rotary cutters, and more. And you can get a rotary cutting mat and a 6 by 12 inch ruler. It can hold 2 to 3 yards of fabric. You guys, this thing is just amazing. I'll open it up, but I'll put it back in the bag to whoever wins it. And this is red, which is perfect for the 4th of July weekend, don't you think? It's got nice, sturdy handles. And it has the separating zipper, so it's got two tabs, regardless of which way you pull it. You have lots of lots pockets in here. This thing is awesome. The size of this thing is just amazing. It comes with an extra little pouch. Not one, two, but three extra pouches inside. And it has an additional pouch in here that can hold your quilt blocks that you can close. It's got a zipper. For quilt blocks, the paper is still inside this. And a nice deep pocket right here that you can pack in whatever you need. This giveaway closes Monday, July 5th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Please leave a comment and let me know that you'd like to win the bag. And in your comment, you must tell me what you love about America. So let's celebrate our 4th of July and our nation's 245th birthday and let's win a Yazzie bag while we're at it. I want to thank Yasmita so much. You are so generous with my viewers, and I hope you guys have a great 4th of July weekend. Go sew something. Bye.